Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel as a motorcycle in the distance rides away very quickly. Now, I wish this was an update about the Prelude, and it could possibly end up being one, depending on how things go here in the near future. But today's video is about what's actually going to be taking up this spot in the garage. And there is a little hint over here, because I don't know if I've shown you guys this. By the way, also, first video recording with my new phone. Let me know how it looks. This is a turbocharger off of a U-Haul trailer truck. Um, the engine was a 7.3 liter Ford engine, I believe. I cannot find a rebuild kit for this, but if you have any connections, let me know. I might be able to use a Ford 7.3 liter. Oh, look at this guy. Might be able to use a Ford 7.3 liter rebuild kit to rebuild it, but the shaft is gone. It's completely snapped in half. Need to complete rebuild and a clean up, and sometime in the future I might do a video doing the clean up and tear down of this tur uh, turbo, because I have an idea for it. Um, and that idea, I'll show you guys in a minute. But yeah, this spot in the garage, you'll notice the black golf is gone. The prelude's still here. This will never go anywhere. I want to show you guys what took the black uh, golf's place. It's something that I wanted originally when I was looking for the golf. And it's what we're going to try to put this turbo on. Because realistically, it's actually not that big of a turbo, so it should power it. We got a Jetta. It's still a Mark IV. I'm sad my taillights don't match, but I'm going to do a front-end conversion to a Golf so I can use my Golf headlights that I bought. Um, we're going to repaint the car black anyway. I want to do a murdered-out build still. Tint the lights. It's got the sunroof and everything. Yeah, I still have the shitty Jeep. Don't worry about it. But this thing, it's got some tasteful stuff done to it already. I don't know if it's tuned. But it has a uh, battery kill switch. You literally just like turn this and pull it out and it kills the battery. Um, already got the intake, which it does need a new filter down there, but that's not a huge deal. Um, a lot of the lines look really good, surprisingly. It is the 1.8T, so this is a 1.8 liter turbo. Um, you can see some of the turbo parts up over here, stuff like that. And the turbo, I'm going to try to get this down there. And you're going to see why we're going to do a turbo swap on this thing. Um, because the turbo is in terrible shape. If you can see it, I don't know. This might be a terrible shot to attempt. But I'm going to try it. So as you can see, that's the actuator itself. It's in terrible rusty condition. I don't know how the turbo got into such bad shape. But, uh... There's the KO3 that's under there. As far as we know, it's still a KO3. Um, I believe this car's never been tuned. I tried looking in uh, the ECU with a cracked version of VCDS, and or I guess it would have been VAGCOM. It's a cracked version of that, and there's no signs it's ever been tuned. Um, just has the intake, the battery kill switch, and that's really it for stuff that's done to it. Uh, I am going to, there are some things that definitely need to be addressed very soon. The power steering fluid leaks. This, uh, there was something in here that ate these wires up. So they're not in good shape. Also, somebody broke the plastic clips on these guys. How dumb is that? And, yeah, it's in good shape otherwise. The headlights really suck. Shifting is really mushy. These still have the original rubber grommets on them down there. So those need to be replaced out. I'm probably going to do a Gretty kit. Any, or a, not a Gretty. The hell? Um, Diesel Geek kit. I'm going to do a Diesel Geek short shifter replacement kit down there anyway. You can see there's a lot of gross, a lot of rust. It's going to be cleaned up. We're going to do this thing right because it's a 1.8T, these things are highly sought after, and I want to build it and, you know, make our little two-step machine. This will be the quick grocery getter, basically. I got this to be the winter beater. My golf is on the other side of the fence. Got this to be the winter beater, but as you can see, I got the black in. These are 
uh, sequential. They bounce back and forth. But the interior is pretty nice. It's not terrible. Here, I'll get in it real quick. Uh, my friend Haley was the last person in here, so congrats to her finally getting the initiative to learn how to drive. She got her temps yesterday. Don't take it as I'm a creepy guy that hangs out with young people. She is, She's in her 20s. <laughs> Let's see. It sounds good. 146,000 miles, much better than the 198 that were on the other car. The headlight switch, I pulled this out of a GTI. It really likes to beep. This thing is so annoying. But you can pull it and it does the fog lights, even though I don't have any fog lights installed. Let's get away from the beeping. And I'll show you guys why the headlights suck. So, runs well. Doesn't sound too bad. The headlights, not bright. These are the brightest bulbs you can get without going LED. And they're underpowered. There's something wrong with the electrical for the headlights. Prelude is becoming a storage bin. So, I think the power steering leaks. Um, I do have some other fun stuff for this, though, that I bought. There we go. So do have some other fun stuff. Obviously, I need to do the plate still. I have the old neon license plate holder that I'm going to throw on here. Hey, look, it's my math. And I went to a local pull-apart and pulled an ECU out of another 1.8 liter Golf. I don't know how to check and see if this thing has a tune on it or not without just straight plugging it in, which is something I might do one of these days. But uh, this car, here's my old light switch. Basic boring bitch, whatever. But uh, yeah, it's in good shape. Definitely gonna do the license plate neon here. But it's in good shape. I mean, the tires are basically new. The wheels are in good shape. I'm probably gonna paint them. I'm gonna do the painting of these wheels before I do my Mark VI. Yeah, I still haven't cleaned up from the 4th of July and my phone is dying, so I gotta make this quick. But, uh, yeah, it sounds good, it looks good, it, it's alright driving-wise. It definitely, I th really do believe it has a leak for power steering, because, uh, you drive it for 10 minutes after putting power steering in it, fluid in it, and it just goes to shit. I had whiskey glasses in here for the longest time. I've actually had this car for quite some time now. It's definitely not the safest car. I can, like, just pull this off and get to the airbag. <laughs> the horn doesn't work. So I'm going to have to... Oh, the horn does work! I was pushing it wrong. Huh. Good to know the horn works. So, yeah. That's the Jetta. The... So what I meant by there might be a plan for the Prelude... What I meant by that, because I said this might turn into an update video for the Prelude. There's a bee flying around my head. Hey, hi. Did you guys see that bastard? Anyway, we're going to put this thing back on just because I should. I don't trust it with the bad wires in there. It just sits. It's whatever. Not in bad shape for 2002, I would say. But, I have friends... Who know I have this car, who want to see it completed, who want to help me with it, who also really like this car. They want to take the engine from the Jetta and put it in the Prelude. Let me know what you guys think. Sounds like a fun plan to me. The Prelude definitely needs some love. Needs its paint, needs its interior redone. It would be a total swap. I don't know enough about engine swapping to actually say how that would go, but who knows? We'll find out. So I'm going to talk to you guys later. My phone's at 10% now, so I probably shouldn't be recording anymore. It's going to cut me off at random. And I'll, uh, 
see you guys later when there's an update for the Jetta or when we decide to fix some shit because it definitely needs it. For right now, I'm going to pull it in here. Um, unless I need to drive it tomorrow, maybe I'll pull the Golf in here. Who knows? The Golf needs to have its plugs and stuff done anyway. So that'll be the next upcoming project that maybe, since I know what I'm doing with that, that'll be the first car modification video that you actually follow along with me completely unedited and we go through, do the spark plugs, do the coil packs, which I have some spares somewhere around here. I don't think I need to do the coil packs. I definitely need to do the spark plugs on the Golf, though, which you can see ever so slightly through the fence. But, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you want to see or how you would modify the Jetta. It's definitely going to be painted black. The hood is going to be chalkboard paint. Um, or do we go white? I don't know. Let me know what you guys would do with the Jetta. And talk to you guys later. Peace out.